The Black Panther 2 villain may be hinted in Avengers Endgame and you guys might not have noticed it. And also today I'll try to break down what may happen in Black Panther 2. Coming up. What's good? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then do this. Express your zest in knowing more about the MCU and diving through the pages of Stan Lee's great comics by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Alright, so in one particular scene from Avengers Endgame, Okoye mentions that there's an earthquake under the ocean and that they handle it by not handling it. Now, the closest character with association to an earthquake under the ocean is obviously Neymar the Submariner, who's no one but the Marvel version of Aquaman. So if you don't know Neymar the Submariner, he's basically the king of Atlantis, but not in the DC universe, but in the Marvel universe. Now, he served both as a hero and a villain, and I think that he will be the villain in Black Panther 2. Now, here's what I think will happen in Black Panther 2, and as to why Namor seeks revenge against Wakanda. The final battle of Avengers Infinity War took place in none other than Wakanda, and there was a lot of destruction and bloodshed that happened in Wakanda. Now, during the starting of the fight, when the fight was imminent, we noticed that certain capsules of the Outriders actually came to the atmosphere. Now, I think that certain capsules, or maybe a couple of them, somehow hit Atlantis, or the battle might have created certain damage to Atlantis. And I think that the Atlanteans thus blame the Wakandans for the damage, and therefore they seek revenge. It may be like a misconfusion, and therefore, Namor may actually come to Wakanda to fight Black Panther, or dethrone him, or just destroy Wakanda, and then he may realize that it was not actually him. And that would be actually a great way to bring Namor the Submariner into the MCU, as a villain, but then making himself realize that he's actually wrong and that there's no fault of the Wakandans. I think that would be a great way to introduce Namor the Submariner in the MCU. And if you guys enjoy short daily uploads that's giving your answers as quick as possible, then consider subscribing by going for the head and not for to click on either of the videos to continue watching. I still believe in superheroes. Do you?